We want to use the given information and we're going to find a formula for slope intercept and also point slope given this information. So for part A, I have a slope is 8 and it says it passes through 4, negative 1. Well the information that's provided for me is my slope, that's my m, and then it goes through this point, that's my x1 and my y1. First thing I want to do is I'm going to write the point slope formula and that's this one. The information I'm going to put in is I'm going to, I have an m that's going to go in here and I have an x1 and a y1 that's going to go in right there. So I'm going to start by doing that. y minus y1, so I have y minus the uh, negative 1 is going to equal m is 8. Then I have x minus x1, so I have x minus 4. You need to simplify this, so I get y plus 1 equals 8 times x minus 4. This is going to be the first answer they're looking for. That's the form for point slope. But I want to keep going and get it into slope intercept form. The way I do that is I want to distribute the 8 and I'm going to solve for y. So y plus 1 equals 8x minus 32. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get y equal 8x minus uh, 33 actually is going to be. So this is going to be the slope intercept form. So here's my two answers. The first one is this one. That's my point slope formula. The second one is going to be 8x minus 33. That's your slope intercept form. Now let's do this one down below. It's going to be the same uh, format. Here's my uh, point slope formula. My slope, that's my m. I have x1 and y1 here. Let's put it into the formula. y minus y1, y minus negative 4 is going to equal the uh, slope this time is negative 3 fifths. That's going to be x minus 10. I'm going to simplify this. The two negatives, I get y plus 4 equals negative 3 fifths x minus 10. That right there is the first answer. That's going to be point slope. But I want to keep going and solve for y. To do that, I want to multiply the parentheses, multiply through by negative 3 fifths. y plus 4 equals negative 3 fifths times x. I multiply this by the x, but I also have to multiply it by 10. Now when I multiply that one by 10, what I'm doing is I'm taking negative 3 times negative 10, that's 30, and then I'm dividing it by 5. So 30 divided by 5 is going to be 6. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and when I do, I get y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 2. This is going to be the answer for slope intercept. So here's my two answers. That's the first one. That's my point slope formula. The second one is going to be this one here. Okay, for part C, it's passing through negative 3, 6, and 3, negative 2. For part C, we're only going to find the slope-intercept form, not the point slope. We do need to find the point slope on the, on the way to the slope-intercept form, but it's only going to ask us to write the final answer in slope-intercept form. So, what we notice what's different about part A and B is that this time the slope is not given. However, we do have a formula that we can use in order to find the slope that goes through these two points. The slope formula would be this one, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. With the points that are given, I can label them either way. I can put x1, y1 here, or if I want to make this one x1, y1, it really doesn't matter. But I'll, I'll start with this one, x1, y1, x2, y2 here. I need to put these points into the slope formula and I'll get the first part of my answer. So when I do that, y2 minus y1 is negative 2 minus 6. On the bottom I have 3 minus negative 3. I'm going to simplify and I get negative 8 over 6. This fraction I want to reduce. You always want to reduce the fractions to lowest terms, especially when you're working with slope. It's going to make your calculations easier. I'm going to reduce this to negative four-thirds. So now that's the slope I want to use. So now when I come down here to the point slope formula, I actually have a choice. I don't have to use the original point that I label. If I want to use the other point, 
I could do that also because you can use either point and both of them are going to allow you to get the same answer for slope intercept form. So you can use either one. Now because I already have this one labeled as x1 and y1, I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. I have my slope right here as well, that's my m. So now I'm going to put everything into this formula. y minus y1, that's y minus 6 is going to equal negative 4 thirds and I have x minus negative 3 is going to give me a plus 3 because I have a double negative happening there. That's the point slope form but I want to put it into slope intercept form so I have to go more and solve for y. y minus 6 is going to equal negative 4 thirds x. Now when I do negative 4 thirds times 3 the threes are going to cancel on this and I get uh, as a result I'm going to get minus 4. So now I need to add 6 to both sides and when I do I get negative 4 thirds x plus 2. So this is going to be the correct answer for slope intercept form. Now for part D. They give us an x intercept is negative 1 half and a y intercept is 4. We want to find the equation of a line in slope intercept form that has these intercepts. Okay, so first, the, probably the best thing to do is form some points out of these so we can put it into the slope formula. For this, the x-intercept always begins with the x value. However, the y value is always going to be zero. So the point that you can write with this is going to be this one right here, negative one-half and zero. This one can be written as zero, four. So now I have my two sets of points. I can label this one x1 and y1 x2, y2. So like I did in the previous part, I want to use the slope formula for that. So change in y over change in x. y2 minus y1, 4 minus 0 goes on top. On the bottom, I have 0 minus negative 1 half. And so when I simplify this, I'm going to get 4 over 1 half. And so you take care of that, that double fraction top number you multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one and we get 8. So now the slope of this one is 8. If we want to form the equation in slope intercept form, this is actually easier than the previous one. Now the reason why is if we look at y equals mx plus b, the m is going to be our slope, the b is going to be our y intercept. Well they already give us a y intercept, the y intercept is 4, so therefore now I know that b is going to be 4 and my m is 8. So I can put that information in here and I get 8x plus 4. So this right here is going to be the correct slope intercept form for the given information. This line will have these intercepts.